Clareview TV in partnership with the Wale Shoinka Center for Investigative Journalism is organizing a three-day stakeholders meeting as part of efforts aimed at training journalists on how best to make government at all levels accountable to the people. The lead program facilitator, Intem Ekbang, is standing by on the phone to tell us more on what the training is all about and its focus. Hello, Intem. Thank you for joining us on Clearview Television News. Thank you. Um, what we are expecting or what the stakeholders meeting is all about is an engagement between the execution team of Clearview TV and few stakeholders who are coming together to brainstorm on ways to execute the Clearview TV government accountability reporting project. Now, that project is an initiative of the MacArthur Foundation and is anchored by the Wole Soinka Center for Investigative Journalism. Now, as participants in that project, Clearview TV is part of the 26 partners in the collaborative media project and that project is for development, inclusion and accountability on the part of the media. So. The stakeholders conference that Clearview TV is organizing is to brainstorm on ways of executing the Clearview TV accountability reporting of government issues. So basically, that's what people are going to sit down to, you know, brainstorm on all stakeholders that are coming, stakeholders from Clearview TV who are the execution partners, and then a few other guys that will come in. So what they're going to do is just sit down think about guys what are we going to do to execute this project what are we supposed to do who are we supposed to call that's just what we're doing to what exactly are we holding the government accountable for can you tell us the specific areas accountability is an all-embracing thing so we are holding government accountable for everything they say that we do everything you're supposed to do everything they have done that may not have been done the way it's supposed to be done. For instance, if they say um, in Guagualada, for instance, a counselor or there's a primary health care center where they're supposed to provide health facilities and it was budgeted for and we now go to see that it's not being done, we need to hold government accountable. You said you're going to do this and monies were made available. So why have you not done it? So that's just an example. So. Government is supposed to construct roads, government is supposed to build hospitals, government is supposed to build schools, government is supposed to do provide basic amenities of life and every other thing that they say they will do during campaigns. And some of the things that you get into an office and by the provisions of the responsibilities of those offices, you're meant to do this. So all we're doing is, have you done it? Why have you not done it? Why wouldn't you do it? when you have said you would do it and when your position has said you would do it. so we're holding government accountable for a lot of things and then but specifically we also are venturing into mineral report uh, mineral resources reporting okay so we like to look at uh, mineral resources in the fct are they available what are they are they in commercial quantity now the exploration of these minerals what impact do they have on the communities around we know about mining activities and stuff like that you know in communities where you have blasting of rocks and all those things the health implication and all of that so those are issues we are holding government accountable for so in turn from here what next next is now the engagement meeting we're having with stakeholders is to lay the foundation for the execution of the project proper you know which is training of journalists we build capacity of journalists for investigative reporting we need people to understand how to do investigative reporting a lot of reporters journalists just know about speaking at the occasion he said and all of that but beyond that that is just regular news that doesn't have a lot to do with accountability or development or sustainability of the media so what we're going to do is to train journalists and after that we're going to empower some reporters to produce reports on this thing that they have been trained so if you now know how to report accountability when that's okay Go and do this. So we'll commission some reporters to do that after training them. So basically, those are the things that are going to come within the life of this project. And it's a three-year project starting from 2022. It will run to 2023 and 2024. So hopefully, we're going to work in the FCT, in Nassau, and in Niger State.